Hey guys, today we're playing with dollies, body dollies, to finish off the flanges around this roof. Welcome to Envision Prototypes, I'm Nick. Before we get into finishing off, tightening up and cleaning up these flanges around the rear window, the trunk area, over the door and the front here, I wanna take and modify this feature through here. Uh, it looks good as it comes down, but then as it extends rearward, uh, when we had it mocked up on the car outside, I didn't like the looks of it. When you stood back, it didn't look right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eliminate about eight inches of it. After we put it through the tipping wheel to create that feature, we stretch the material. And uh, if we just kind of hammer it out, uh, we'll end up with a bulge through here and we don't want that. We want the roof to come down smoothly into the shoulder line. So what I'm gonna do is basically hammer the material into itself very carefully by hammering onto the dolly, but not peening it. Because if you peen it, you're gonna stretch it. We might actually have to use a shrinking disc later on to clean it up a little bit and bring it down a little more. But let's see how far we can get with just a hammer and dolly. We have various dollies. We have a heel here. We have this flat-faced longitudinal dolly. And we have this one here as kind of a multitude of curves that we can use. Now, I'm gonna basically back it up lengthwise. Have most of the mass behind the sheet metal versus this way. And that way we can hopefully eliminate that. Now you guys are probably looking up at that roof there and uh, that's moving along quite well. We've got the inner pieces mounted, welded into place and primed. Next step is take and install the exterior pieces that go over top to create the box sections. And then once that's done, we can get the roof back up there and start fitting it to the car for the final time. So anyway, let's get working on this and see how far we can get. So when you're hearing that dull sound as I'm hammering, that means I'm just taking and bringing down that feature. Uh, I'm not doing anything with the crease just yet. The crease has to be brought out from the other way because it's, it's going inward into the, into the inside of the panel. So what I'm doing right now is just taking and tapping down that profile and uh, I'm gonna stop it about there. We have to do both sides, but we'll just do this one on the camera for now. It would look kind of funny if you did one side and not the other side. Nobody ever sees both sides at the same time. But... Just a second ago, you heard a sharper pitch. That was me hitting the dolly with the hammer head on. You don't want to do that too much because like I said, it'll stretch it. Right now, we've got a bit of wave go waviness going on here. So uh, the profile is just about gone but uh, we want to take and minimize it some more and then work the metal from the other side. There are times when you can't get in to work it from the other side and you actually have to take and just have your, rely on your dolly from the inside and work the metal both in and out from the outside. First thing I did was just take that and remove that profile, that, that bulge, this here. And right now what I'm kind of working on is that crease. So we'll have to match where this ends on both sides later. Okay, we're just about there. So I'm gonna switch up dollies because I don't want to start creating creases or bumps like I did right there with that point because of the curvature. So I'm gonna get a flatter dolly, use the heel here instead now. And let's go to a slapper or a spoon. And uh, that's what's gonna help us level the surface out by kind of normalizing the peaks and valleys a bit. if you guys can see these little um, shiny spots the darker spots they're actually high points and the lower spots are more matte finish so we want all this to look a, a consistent uh, shade of metal if you will now another thing we're doing is called an on and off body dolly technique it's where you're taking back up the metal in one spot with the dolly and you're hitting the metal with the slapper or the hammer just ahead or behind to bring the metal up or down depending what needs to be done. I notice there's a bit of a low spot here as well. 
So what I'm going to do is going to slide the dolly ahead, hitting it over here, bringing that out. Now that sharp pitch is me hitting just the very edge of the dolly, which is what you don't want to do, but you know it's kind of hard to judge as you're moving along. Unfortunately, we don't have x-ray vision, at least not yet. It's coming in really nice. Okay, so now I'm going to blend up into here a little bit, kind of smooth things out. What I'm doing right now is kind of planishing the metal. I'm not hitting it anymore. I'm just gliding the dolly or the slapper off the sheet metal, and it's kind of just smoothing it. Just about it. There's a few little highs and lows that need to be addressed on this roof section, but I'm not going to do it while it's off the car because the tension of the roof is wrong. It's supported in the wrong spots. So once the roof is back up on the car, we'll go through and kind of clean things up. There's not many, but it just kind of, you know, catches the eye a little bit once in a while. So what we're going to do now is take a longer dolly so we'll reach up higher and kind of blend in from this surface area through here. You may see me moving my head from side to side. It's so that you don't go cross side as you're trying to sight down the panel. It kind of changes the perspective a little bit, allows you to see if there's any shadows or low spots that are uh, happening. And we're really close. What I'm gonna do is get a sanding block, hit the highs and see, or hit the sheet metal and see if we have any highs. Okay, so we have a small low spot here, uh, kind of a low spot there, and a bit of a low spot here. That's high, that's high. The shiny spots are high spots. So what we're gonna do is back up the low spot with the dolly, and just tap down the high spots. Okay, so as they say, that's good enough for the girls we date. That came out quite well. Once we get this joined up with the sail panel, we'll be able to sneak in because this is open and we'll sneak in and uh, address anything else that needs to be brought up. We are really close at this point, but because this is a raw edge, it still kind of wanders around. We'll probably trim away just below that green line because that's uh, where it's gonna join up with the quarter panel. So that's it. And then this here will be brought out, joined up with the quarter panel as well, and that'll be done. So. This came out really, really nice. This is another style of dolly that we have. It has a kind of an apex, 45 degree, with a sharp, uh, sharp edge. It allows me to sneak in here and touch up this bead that we created with the tipping wheel earlier. There's a couple of little kind of funny things going on, so I'm gonna clean that up a bit. And you constantly have to be reading your panel. If you see something going the wrong way, you stop. You don't, don't keep going. Now that's perfect. Well, except for that. It becomes addictive to get it as perfect as you can. I think I need a longer dolly. And sometimes if this isn't enough, we have four dollies running right now, uh, you might end up making your own dolly to get into a particular area. And we have a whole drawer of those. first started out metal shaping, uh, I didn't have an English wheel. I had a set of dollies and hammers. And if you go look at the R1 build, the Burgundy uh, sports car we built, uh, that was all hammered out by hand in sections. It was a lot of work. I'm make sure it doesn't get out of control. A lot of hours in this roof and we don't want it to fall down. We could do a series called Story Time with Nick. Back when I was a, a six or seven years old, my dad was teaching me how to drive and uh, stick shift and it was a Datsun B210. So anyway, did all right, went around the yard, came back around. As I was pulling up to the shop door, these doors used to open up vertically, uh, two doors here. And uh, what happened was, mixed up the gas and the brake, 
hit them both at the same time and uh, well drove into the shop doors so i had to learn how to fix that dats in front end that's where i started metal shaping let's get back to this okay so with that fixed up there that door feature done i'm going to get into this area through here tighten up this radius make it a little bit sharper so that we can create a template for this rear window here I'm just making that edge a little more crisp and if I see any little bumps or whatever in there then I'm just taking care of them and the way I can tell where I left off is the metal is a little more shiny after you hit it so I can see that and I can kind of just make it all shiny the edge then we'll take the the sanding block and just touch it up and see if there's anything that's high and low or outstanding this corner here I left it not welded intentionally uh, I stopped the weld about here right before it rolled down inside once we get the car up on the or the roof up on the car and everything's sitting in the right spot then we take and weld those corners up because right now uh, they're moving around and if we weld that in the wrong spot we'll have a weird tension in the panel that shouldn't be there it for there. This bottom edge is really close. I have to type the radius over here. This is coming in nicely here. Now to finish this radius off here, I need a hammer that has a relatively round face on it. So I can sneak in here and just kind of blend that curvature in. Okay, so just tighten this line up a little bit just by working the metal that way as well as up tighten that up and this radius actually there's a little spot there but this looks good through here and, uh, yeah things are sliding down again you can't really put this on a table because there's no proper contact surface so we kind of have to have the horses straddle particular areas without creating any stress in the panel excuse me so what we're going to do now is take and tighten up this trunk edge and uh, sharpen it up a little bit and get rid of any little low spots. And I think, I think that's going to be it. I see a bit of a most part right there so you can take the hammer and bump it up but you'll end up with a peak here you don't want to do that what we're going to do is place the dolly in here just gently tap around that and uh, have it come up that way and that's gone So what I'm going to do, or what we're going to do, is get this roof back up on the car, 
Uh, that's not done yet, but we're gonna get this up there, fit everything, and I'll probably run in this rear window, get the flange created for that, and make sure all the flanges around the perimeter match up to where they need to around the edges. And once that's good, we'll take the roof back off and uh, finish up the structure up above, get everything welded in and finalized, and then get the roof up one final time. You're all set? Yep, just gonna move it over a little bit. Okay. Let's grab the horse. That's it. That's it. So right now, what we'll have to do is jump down and then hook the eave troughs okay. onto the structure. It's going to come back a little bit. Yeah. Sounds good. It looks good. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah.